This video will answer the question, what is formative assessment? Formative assessment is a process used by teachers and students during instruction that provides feedback to adjust ongoing teaching and learning to help students improve their achievement of intended instructional outcomes. This is the preferred definition from MSDE. I know this definition seems a bit complex, but it is really just sound instructional practice as you will see when we break down the definition. Formative assessment is a process. It is not a single action, exit ticket, or quiz. The forays process is a perfect example of this. After or during any formative assessment, you must analyze the data and make some decisions for action. After you act, you must assess again and make adjustments to move forward. You can work freely through the four A's as needed to meet the needs of your students, but the most crucial piece of formative assessment is that something important happens as a result of the assessment. Formative assessment is used by teachers and students. Good formative assessment allows students to assess themselves and others. It provides opportunities for students to reflect on their own learning, mistakes they have made, and gives them a chance to make adjustments. It's so important for students to understand where they are in their learning and where they're going. When students and teachers work together, students can develop ownership of their own learning process. Formative assessment happens during instruction, not just at the end. Using a checklist, asking a question, or giving students a problem to solve in the middle of the lesson can help guide the rest of the lesson. Sometimes if you wait until the end to assess, Students could go a whole class period making the same mistake or working with a misconception that could have easily been corrected earlier. Feedback is an important part of the formative assessment process. For students to grow and increase learning, they must receive feedback that is actionable. It's important for students to receive feedback that is specific to how they can grow. Having clear expectations for skills or assignments is important. If the expectations are clear, it becomes easier to provide feedback specific to those expectations. As stated previously, formative assessment should be an ongoing process. When teaching a skill or concept over multiple days or weeks, it is important to assess students consistently throughout the learning. If you have formatively assessed students throughout the learning, it will be clear when students are ready for a summative assessment, and you will likely be able to accurately predict how students will perform. The purpose of formative assessment is to assist students in the learning process. The ultimate goal is an increase in student achievement. When students have clear expectations, know where they are going in their learning, receive specific actionable feedback, and take ownership of their learning, there is an increase in student achievement. Finally, the intended outcome must be clear. Teachers and students must know what is being assessed and what the end goal looks like. It is difficult for students to achieve a goal or meet expectations that are not clear or shared with them. The formative assessment process makes learning transparent for students. In conclusion, we hope that you take away three very important things from this video. One, formative assessment is an ongoing process. Two, the learning process and expectations must be clear and transparent. And three, learning must be assessed consistently and lead to action. In the following videos and modules, you will learn more about how to do this using digital tools.